The horse game community is no stranger to being treated poorly by devs, disappointment from upcoming games, and even being straight up scammed by fake startup titles. Today, I wanted to take a look at some horse game adverts, and while that may seem like a weirdly specific topic to do an entire video on, bear with me because things are about to get really strange. So I'm scrolling through Instagram as I do on my account at Abigail Pinehaven, feel free to follow me on there, and I come across this ad. This is by far the jankiest mobile ad rubbish I have ever seen. If you haven't seen this ad before, you will never know which game it's advertising. Here, I'll give you a moment to guess. You're probably wrong. It's Equestrian the Game. Yes, this Equestrian the Game. If you'd like a full review of this game, feel free to head to Rattle's channel because she has a full review on it. Now this is really weird, right? First of all, it has this weird disjointed mobile ad floaty hand, and secondly, Equestrian the game doesn't even have any care mechanics. I was a bit confused by this ad, but I assumed it was just a one-off until I found the second ad asking me to create my dream scene whatever that means. And lo and behold, it's ETG again. Now, admittedly, this one is better because it does actually have footage from the game in it, but it's still really strange. Then I discovered a third ad, this time with the weird floaty mobile ad hand, connecting horse heads like it's Connect 4. I'm sorry, but what? I've never seen ads this bad for horse games before. I mean, general mobile games, yes. I'm sure we've all seen the murderous granny from Merge Mansions. But a horse game? And oh, it is about to get so much worse. It was only a matter of time before I stumbled upon this ad. I genuinely could not believe my eyes. What you're looking at is an AI generated image promoting Equestrian the game. Before we get ahead of ourselves, let's just clarify what AI is and why it's so problematic. AI means artificial intelligence, and it's essentially computer-generated images and text that have become so advanced they can get pretty close to mimicking real life. The problem is, AI needs to be fed images in order to learn how to create realistic looking or artistically captivating images, and there have been numerous cases of photography and art being fed to AI without the creator's consent. This, first of all, is unfair because it is art theft, but secondly, it can be damaging to the original creator. What this means is that when you have an artist that has a very particular style of art, the AI can now create images in that exact style. So now, instead of being commissioned, people and companies will go to an AI software firm to have images generated in whatever style they want. Essentially, cutting out the human behind the art. Don't get me wrong, AI is the future whether we like it or not. It is an incredibly useful tool in today's society, and it isn't evil and won't take over the world yet. But what is happening is that companies are now trying to shortcut work that should be done by an artist or graphic designer in order to save themselves some pennies. So how does this tie into this ETG ad then? Well, as you probably know, horses are really difficult to get right anatomically, even for a human being. Their bone structure, their muscle structure, even the way they move is incredibly unique and frankly really weird compared to most animals. And because of this, AI really struggles to generate horses the same way it does with hands. And I mean it really struggles. Add attack into the equation and the whole thing becomes a mess. This makes it incredibly easy to spot an AI generated horse, which is what we have here and here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and you get the point. Equestrian the game has commissioned over 10 AI generated images to promote their game. My main issue with this is that by paying an AI firm to generate these bad quality images, they have chosen not to pay an artist. It would even be forgivable if they paid for the AI generated images and then got an artist to clean them up because they definitely need cleaning up. 
People in the comments of these ads weren't particularly happy, but I mean, come on, the minute you zoom in on any of these pictures, you will find something terribly wrong with these horses. Whether it be too many legs, tack that doesn't make sense, or animal blob shapes in the background. The thing is, ETG have done some pretty good ads before. Take this level 15 versus level 100 horse. It does a great job of showing how the animations change the more you train your horse. Admittedly, there is no level 100 100 in ETG, so it is a bit mobile clickbaity, but we can forgive it. They also did this cool bucking edit, which I think works really well because not many games have the bucking feature. But then I found two ads that were just reposts of other people's Instagram photos. This is a really strange thing to have done because they appear to be two ETG fan accounts. I managed to contact one person who did confirm that they were unaware that this had happened, but I was unable to contact the other. This is really bad form because asking for consent to use other people's photos and content is just common decency. Now I'm not sure of the legality of this, but I am sure that this is morally shady. I just want to be clear that I am aware that the ETG team is probably not the ones behind this. They have most likely hired an advertising agency or firm who have then paid to get these AI images generated. But at the end of the day, it is Equestrian the Games branding an image that is at stake here. The problem is, this isn't the first time ETG were informed of these questionable ad strategies. Nora Edwards and Melly both confirmed that they they reached out to the ETG team who had promised that they had gotten the advertising agency back in line. But not surprisingly, this was months ago and these ads are still up and running. I myself reached out to the team, but I have gotten no response as of recording. To conclude this mess, the problem isn't that they are using AI generated images to promote their game. The problem is that they are cutting corners by not hiring an artist to create or at least fix these images. On top of that, they seem to be aware of this and will actively tell concerned players that this is being corrected when no action appears to be taking place. In my opinion, this is really bad form and the ETG team have already gotten stains on their name from a previous mishandling of PR, which Rattle did actually cover if you want more info on that. With that all out of the way, I did want to take a look at some ads from other horse games to give you a perspective on what non-problematic horse ads look like. But first, let me grab a friend. So how do, how do people sync up two different recordings? Uh, I think you clap. Do we? Oh, yeah, yeah, we have to clap at the same time. Okay, so go. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad. One okay. more time. All right, are you ready, ready? Okay, go. Clap. Oh, I think we got it. I think we got it. I think that Yay! was it. Yay. <laughs> Rattle, for those of, of everybody watching who doesn't know who you are, would you give us like a synopsis of like who you are, what you do, what your content's about? Yes, uh, I am um, Rattle. That you know that already. I do videos generally about horse games, but I do like to chat about different stuff. But I like to take an analytical approach on horse games. Usually. Usually. <laughs> but yeah, mostly I just like to complain, as, as people will say. Yes, Rattle is known for complaining, <laughs> hence why we've got her in today to complain Yay. about these ads. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing is basically I have curated 12 different ads. Just a post editing note, we had so much fun doing this recording that I had too much footage to squeeze into this one video. So I'll be making a special members only video dedicated to this section. So when that's up and finished, do consider joining the channel to watch because it helps me out as well. Um, that myself and my community have submitted. Thank you guys for submitting the ads that you saw. Um, and we've got a, a nice range. We won't be covering any of the ETG ads because I've just done like a huge section talking about it. Basically, what I want you to do rattle is to like rate it rate the ad out of 10 how does that sound is minus five an option um uh, for, for yeah sure I'll, I'll tell you what you can, you can go up to 10 and up to minus 10 minus 10 being like really terrible and like 10 being like the best okay, okay. awesome thank awesome. you so I thought that we should probably start on your favorite game uh, so I have a star stable ad for you Okay. Welcome to Star Stable, the game where you can fight evil and dance with your friends, and so much more. Enjoy the calmness of the woods, or the oh. city, 
Start your adventure no. and be the hero. Or don't. Oh dear no. Create your account today and get a free gift. That's... What do you think of that that's one? That's kind of... That's kind of painful. <laughs> you think it's painful? <laughs> please, please do elaborate. What would you rate that out of 10? So I would say, I, I would personally give it about a four out of 10. Okay, <laughs> it's not really well, we've, we've not gone into the minuses yet. So I, I, I feel like that's Not a yet! <laughs> um, um, I would agree in that like a lot of like the, the, even like the shots that they've used are really bland. Mm. Like I just feel like Star Stable is a really pretty game. And I get what they were going for with like the goofy, like, oh, you can enjoy the town. And there's like a bunch of people like running past screaming. Um, I get the goofiness, but I just feel like in terms of like <laughs> composition, like I feel like it's it's a little bit lacking. Like it could have used some color. Like this, what is this section? Like I have never. Yeah. It's like color graded. This this bit's color graded and maybe even rendered, whereas this is you just actually... like an in-game section. So. Yeah, you just you just pointed out something very very interesting. Now, uh, can you go back to that part where you're in Pandoria or oh, yes. like I think it's with Fripp or somewhere? Yeah, th those areas. Like. Yeah. The music does not fit this this section. That's a good point. It's like diddle it, diddle it, diddle it, diddle it, and it's just like Linda's like opening a Pandoric portal. Like I'm pretty sure that was like a very pivotal moment in the story, and now it's like diddle it, diddle it, diddle it. So that was an interesting choice to go with. I think it was a it's a complete tonal disaster. This next one, let me just check that it's the one I'm. It is. Okay, so this is... We actually ended oh, up God. having a chat about Rival Stars um, before this. And uh, this is a Rival oh, Stars man. ad. And this is by far the best ad we will see today. Okay, hands down. This is the <laughs> best. This is my favorite ad that I have ever seen. Let's see what... Okay. Let's see if it stands up to my cynicism. Yes. No, it will. It will. It's got 19,000 <laughs> likes. It's going to hand... It's going gonna, it's gonna to stand up. Okay, you, you, just, you just sit back and relax. Okay, here we go. Okay. Like, come on. That's a good yeah. ad. That is a that good is... ad. Like, the music, the slow-mo, the effects, the some jumps just hit different. Oh, I love it. It's just, it's perfect. It, it is a good ad. I'm not going to lie. It's a, it it kind of hit the right feels. It kind of captured it. The only thing I have against it oh, God. is uh, the, the jump, the jump with the, with like the one where the course jumps with the three different, you know, oh, yeah. it's very sparkly and it kind of blurs out the image a little bit. That's the only issue. I was like, I wasn't for a second sure what the hell I'm looking at. Yeah, that <laughs> was like, what the hell's going on there? It's a bit tricky, and I, I know what they're going for. They want to give an emotional impact. Mm. It's great though. But, but, but. To be fair, it, it you, you are right. This is a good ad. It kind of hits the right notes. It kind of makes me want to pick up the game. I'm like, ooh, what game is this? I want right? to go see it. They, yeah. they clearly capitalized on the most important part of their game, which is what you consider the most important part, the graphics, the graphics. and the horses. I think but you underestimate the power of graphics. In games. <laughs> I don't think you properly appreciate Rival Stars is all I'm going to no, say. It's a, it's a great ad, though. I'll, I'll give it an... An 8 out of 10. We have another Star Stable ad. This one was interesting because I like the graphics better in it, but you'll see why, why we might need the comments to help us out here. Um, I'll just I'll just let you watch it. Am I watching? Yeah. Are you watching? No, it's not showing up, Abigail. Oh, no. I've broken it. Hold on. I, I can watch. Oh, maybe I should just click watch stream. That would help. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I didn't have to do it with the previous two. That would... Now suddenly I have to do it. <laughs> that would really help, Rattle. <laughs> <laughs> Technical difficulties. Black four waar paarden vrij rondlopen in uitgestrekte grasweiden en rond met sneeuw bedekte bergtoppen, waar je zeldzame rassen van op de hele wereld kunt ontmoeten en bereiden. Gedaan met dromen. Begin gewoon te rijden. Stop met dromen. Begin gewoon te rijden. Speel vandaag op starstable.com. I mean, personally, yeah, I could, I'm sold. Like, I, I, I could understand actually a lot of that because I'm Afrikaans. I think it was, it was Dutch possibly, but I understood really? some of that. That was cool. I thought yeah. it was Finnish <clears throat> or like Swedish. It could be, but tell me in the that, comments. That, that, is it Swedish or Finnish? I'm not sure. But no, this is good. Like the energy is nice. The music works a lot better than the yeah, previous ad. Right? The, the, the 
they used a lot of cinematic style uh, footage, which kind of you know captures that feeling of oh, I want to play this. So, yeah. and I, I love the and I love the first image they have. Like this, like yeah, this, this captures good. Star Stable. This to capture Star Stable. Would I? Does it capture the feeling of the game? Yes. So yeah, that's an eight out of ten. That's a good ad. <laughs> so you gave the previous Rival Stars ad an 8 out of 10, and you're giving this also an 8 out of 10. So I disagree with that personally. I think it was a solid ad, but mm. I'd give that like a, a 7 or a 6 out of 10. Now, this is... Uh, now, the Rival Stars ad was absolutely my favorite one, but this one has charm. This one has quite a lot of charm. Now, I will warn you, it's two minutes long. <laughs> this oh. advert is two minutes long. It, I got it on my own video, um, Beginner's Guide to Wild Horse Islands. I got this on my own video. And uh, I think it's worth a watch. So I'll stop at a couple points that I think are worth mentioning so that we don't have to okay. do it in like one single block. But um, we recognize Ilva. She used to do Star Stable yeah. News, which I'm kind of sad that they ditched because that one was quite fun. Um, and then we have this lady here who i think is zelda ghost frog i think this is this is zelda so um we'll, we'll just let them get on with it my friend is zelda ghost frog and today we're going to play through the revamped championships in star stable and the loser is going to eat a spoonful of lemon juice let's go it's like 20 2013 call <laughs> cinema <laughs> challenge no 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 so ilva oh, will know straight up. yeah 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 win this oh it might be you actually this is not going great <laughs> See, oh, that, <laughs> that was a charming moment. It was like, I was yeah. like zoned out while recording this ad. And like when the music stopped, I started listening to, to Ilva. And I was like, wait, that's yeah. actually a funny joke that she just made. Like that was good, right? Yeah, no, it's very charming. It's yeah, very charming. Right? So I was like, okay, I'm I'm invested now. I'm going to watch the whole two minute ad because I'm invested. And Ilva just keeps getting better. Wait until like the next funny thing she says. It's quite good. No, no, no. Did you hear that, that cackle? <laughs> My God. <that> cackle. <laughs> I know, this is fun. This is fun. Oh, now? yeah. Dude, I hate that I'm part. I'm still in front of you. Yes! Nice! You're one step Nine. closer Nine. to eating lemon juice. Don't be too cocky about this because who lost the last race, huh, ma'am? Huh? Ma'am, yeah. the dog in the background. <laughs> I thought, like at that point, I was like, first of all, that was good editing, like the zoom. Yeah. In. Also, the dog just like blank staring behind her, like that is, <laughs> that was funny. Okay, I yeah. was not expecting this ad to like actually be funny. Um, and there's one more yeah. part that absolutely made me cackle. Come on! You're the prettiest pony in the world. No, 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 you're not. Actually, your mom is lying. <laughs> I hope you choke on a balloon. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say. Yeah, I swear. What the? <laughs> no. I hope you choke. They're just roasting each other. It's amazing. <laughs> I hope you choke on a balloon. The other girl's like, what? <laughs> like... Um, like the to I was not like I thought you know Star Stable has got this like very strictly like PG you know yeah very positive and Ilva just comes out in this ad with like I hope you choke on a balloon like <laughs> <laughs> and they let that through and I was like I'm so glad they did because that's actually funny and the way that she like yes. 180 to be like yeah no actually that was kind of me <laughs> like that oh pinnacle comedy I need more of Ilva genuinely you know what I have a Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, Ilva. I feel for you. Yikes. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> that was, that's that was, a good ending. That was a good, like, that. considering it's two minutes long, that was a pretty entertaining ad. I'd actually read an eight. This is a good ad. Because it, it captures the feeling of the game. It captures the, the, like, it makes me interested to play it. It's, it's everything that I wanted an ad. It's like... And it's and it's something that I can actually rewatch without feeling the cringe as so many Star Stable ads <laughs> tend to be. Oh yeah, no, we've, we've got a couple of those lined up. <laughs> now this this ad is very interesting. Let me give you the story behind this ad. Okay, oh, so no. this ad is absolutely terrible quality for the first like five seconds because for some reason it like wasn't loading. This is an ad I got on my own video. 
and it was so interesting because it's a rival stars ad but the the video quality gets better like halfway through okay. the recording um and the the ad skips for some reason like it skips like it has like five seconds left of the ad and it just goes straight to my video and i have never seen this ad since and i really want to i will try in post to find a better quality version of this but um i will explain to you why i don't like this ad okay so just, oh, okay. just watch the rival stars horse racing it's become one of my favorite games to play on my phone but the best part is it's free to play i love the competitive nature of the game and being able to train my horses to increase their stats for a better chance at winning so my first question is who are you Ex who who are you why is that not me why is that not me i i could have done that ad i could have i could have been in that ad and instead they had this random man do it. They're trying to aim it at a specific demographic. So I think uh, Rival Stars is supposed to be aimed at... So the high... Okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to annoy you for a second. Yeah, no, you're so... already doing it. Congrats. <laughs> yeah. Lay it on me. Go on then. <laughs> so um, so gambling games are usually aimed at men. It's just it's just the way it is. You know, g g men just like... You, you'll find a lot more men at a gambling range than you will women. And you will find a lot more men at racing uh circuits than you will women so this game was most likely at first made for men so this is technically i think why this ad was made because they thought that men would want to play it but women took over because pretty horses so i think this is why this ad feels so jarring because it is very jarring was the entire point of this video in order for you to be able to ask pickpock to use you for ads no <laughs> not <laughs> really <laughs> No, definitely didn't not, start that way. Not a, no, it didn't, no. Yeah, okay. I'm just saying, Pickpock, if you're watching, hit me up, please. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to assume that your rating for this ad is like minus 10 out of 10, right? Yeah, I know, it's dead. It's yeah, dead exactly, in the water. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We're going to watch <laughs> what is possibly the blandest ad I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> and this needs no further interact in, 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 oh. into... into What's the word I'm looking for? Introduction. Thank you so much. Introduction. <laughs> I'll just I'll just let you watch this ad. I like the music. Oh. I like, could have done a lot more with it. I just That's think my first it was reaction. so black. Like, I could have sat down and made that, you know? Yeah. What, what I actually would have done, if, if I mean, I, I thought that was what they were going to do. Mm -hmm. So I thought that they were going to have the horse, like, run. And then, you know, on the beat of the music, the background keeps changing to show Ooh. you, like, the versatility of Jorvik. That's what, oh. I, that's what I thought. And then the horse hit a sliding stop. And I'm like, oh, wow, well, this oh. is freaking sad. Yeah. It's bland. Let's go with a... I, I do like the music and I do like with what they were going for. Right. So it's not in the minuses at least. It's a it's a three. <laughs> yeah, I would have rated it slightly higher, like a five, just because it's really mid. Although I suppose on our scale, mid would be zero. It wouldn't get me to play the game. That's that's my yeah. problem. It's like eh. Is it? So we have one final ad for you to look at. And um, oh. I was actually tagged in this ad by uh, Juno Fox on Instagram. And yeah. she, uh, all I could see on the notification was just her like maniacally laughing. And so I knew when I was going to click this ad, this was going to be like the funniest thing I've ever seen. And I really hope you haven't seen this because this is genuinely really funny. So um, this is just the whole ad, by the way. So <laughs> who thought <laughs> that is no, <laughs> it's, so br it's so cursed. Like that is the most cursed thing I have ever seen. I think they wanted that. to go for quirky, but it's creepy. It it's goes so into creepy scary. territory. The thing is, though, that this isn't saying anything about the game. No horse can do this. <laughs> it's it's like a quirky joke that they're making. That's great, but yeah. who is gonna play the game after they see this ad? <laughs> Made me you honestly understand? uninstall the game. So I, I yes. don't know if that was like the intended effect, but I did inst <laughs> uninstall the game after this. So there you go. That was twelve. 
horse game adverts uh, that you just watched and rated. What are your overall thoughts on horse game adverts, Ben? They're terrible. Just all, of them, just all of them are terrible. But yeah, there were definitely some some stinkers in there, some some that weren't quite as good as others, um, and some that were good but fell down in certain locations. <laughs> because you can't stand a graphical game that's not pretty. <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to play G G One Jockey because it it was okay. looks like it it came from like the GameCube. Like I'm not going to play that game. I'm sure, the gameplay is great. I'm sure the story is great, but. You cannot play Red Dead Redemption and then just go back to G1 Jockey. That's not how life works, Brathel. That is not how life works. I, I hope Pickpock never hires you. <laughs> that was a very personal blow and I'm, I, oh my goodness, I am reeling from that personal blow. <laughs> I'm, I'm now in a feud with you. Like, you know, it's going to be the Rattle Pinehaven feud from this, yeah. this, this moment on. Let me know in the comments, are you Team Rattle or Team Pinehaven? Yes, this is biased because this is my audience <laughs> talking. But <laughs> this is unfair. <laughs> to be fair, my audience do have uh, somewhat of a habit of like, if I say to not do something, they'll go and do it. So, you know. They are a bit re oh. rebellious, so <laughs> oh, good, let great. me know in the comments whether you're Team Pinehaven or Team Rattle. Because no, 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 uh, no, it's 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 not Team Pinehaven. It's Abbey Fail Winehaven. So just. <laughs> I th that was a hundred crit damage that you just did to me. Oh my god! <laughs> I've been sitting on that one for a while. That is quite shocking. I. Have you? How long have you it's, been sitting on that for? Please don't tell me it's like multiple I, weeks. I possibly must. Oh my <laughs> waiting for the right time to. I might need to go lie down now. So okay, <laughs> thanks for that one. Um, let me but, let me know if I'm still part of the video. <laughs> yeah, I might just cut this whole section. I think maybe I'll turn this like from like criticizing ETG to like criticizing you as an individual. That might work. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, but thank you, despite all that rattle, for uh, coming on and uh, saying hi. I'll give you uh, thirty seconds to promote whatever you'd like to promote. Go. Wow, that's that's on the spot, Jesus. Yeah, okay. the, the countdown's going. You should probably get a move uh, on. Uh, uh, ch channel, but subscribe. I I will have link below. Please click. You. <laughs> what else can I say? Sure. I mean, it, it's it's short and concise. I actually haven't done like a main video sign off, so you all stuck doing one with me. <laughs> are you are you ready, Rattle? What 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 is that? <laughs> yeah. How 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 do you even partake in this? I don't know. Do you know my outro? Is my question. I don't think I actually watch the endings of your of many people's videos. I usually go like, oh yeah, no, she's done, bye. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay positive and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>